Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create many records using model.create. Uh, sometimes you need to create many instances of your models. For example, when seeding a database with initial data, model.create takes an array of objects like, here's an array, and inside of it is an object and another object, and then they just have the dot 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 as the first argument <clears throat> and saves them all in the database. So create many people using model.create using the function argument array of people the function argument of array of people okay so we come over to here um, now if you haven't been following me along with me in the past if your code's working then that's great but otherwise you'll notice that mine might look a little bit different than a traditional setup of this but um, here we can say create new people sometimes you treat and then so create many people a function array of people and then done um, okay so what I'm thinking is you're going to be passing an array of people in. Um, so what we can do is iterate through an array of people. Um, but yeah, the first thing I want to do is just go model.create. I want to search for that here. So maybe dot .create, see what that happens if I pop that up. Uh, model.create. So yeah, I'm just doing the mongoose.js. Um, documentation yeah. looking up documentation is part of the game that's actually one of the things that they want you to do here and so that's what I'm doing so. okay so I'm just going command F because uh, we're looking for create but not create connection model dot create command F oops command F model create Okay, a model.create. Model.create, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Documents to be inserted, options to be passed to save, and then a callback function. Shortcut for saving one or more documents to the database. Model.create docs does a new model doc.save on every doc. Okay, so person dot create, and then they pass us in with the names. Um, create many people. Hmm. So I guess we would say yeah. Instead of create character, we're gonna say person person.create and then we're going to pass in yeah the array of people and um, why well, I would say session I'm not exactly sure so we'll just get rid of that okay upon some deep reflection I have realized <clears throat> that just like up here Upon our save, we want to have a callback function. And so <clears throat> we're going to have an anonymous callback function for create. That's what this um, the second parameter is. So our callback function is just going to be an anonymous function. And we're going to, in here, we're going to say error. And then we're going to say, just call it people. And then the done is going to go within here. And so when we're successful, uh, well, if, if there's an error, we want to stop and return the error to the log, to the console. Um, if, it's, if there is no error, <clears throat> we want to call the done function saying, hey, that da data has been saved. And so now we want to say it's done and we want to toss in people. We might want to do data here because last time we had a problem with that. Um, and then I'm just improving spacing and everything to keep it clean. So let's see that. Hmm. I wonder if we do need to say people here. 
oh, you know what we've got to do? It's important to kind of slow down when we're doing this. Stop the server. Rerun the server. Once the server kicks up, your app is listening on port 3000. We're not seeing any errors from the console. Um, we can come over here and then give it a shot. Okay, so yeah, that's the idea. <clears throat> you want to have a function of create many people, and that function takes an array of people, and then there's the done method. This is just, um, I guess it's basic express, um, or mongoose, it's mongoose. And then we're doing person.create, and we're calling it on the array of people, and that's whatever's being passed in. So this is an external API. And then we have a function. Um, I'm pretty sure we could do it like this. Um, let's stop it and run it. This is just an arrow function. Sometimes I like to refactor this code. In modern applications, it, it would make sense to run it like this. And then if there's an error, um, so if the create function generates an error, then we're going to return and log and get and get out of this function, and we're not going to run the the done function. But if there's no error, we'll skip this line nine fifty sixty one, and we're going to say done, and we're going to pass null and the person that was successfully created in this array. And so yeah, our app's running again. Complete this challenge. Um, so yeah, again, I mean, we should be using ES six for this stuff, so we could just get rid of all this. Um, function all this repetitive use of the word function um, and that will make our application look a little bit cleaner and but this does the same thing and so that's completely unimportant um, i just wanted to show you guys that as a refactoring thing um, you see if i come over here and i say complete the challenge okay it's still there so we can refactor this into you know <clears throat> es6 arrow functions quite easily um, let it equal to a new person uh, function. We don't need to do it up here. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is how we, how we can create. We can add a function which allows us to pass in an array of people, and so external API access can be granted to this and uh, set it up like that. So this is how that one works. Um, yeah. I stopped the server and I ran it again. So if you're having problems, stop your server, run it again, wait until you see your app is listening on port 3000, and then come back over here, and then you can resubmit the thing. The URL is not changing, so you can just click, I've completed it. And that's it for that one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.